here's the thing. At the National Cartoonist Society Rubin Awards this past May, we were given an eraser. It's a very, very nice eraser. And because we were given the eraser for the National Cartoonist Society, I got to talk to Wayne Chen via email. There's Wayne's card. He said, let me send you a sampler package. It says, enjoy, Turtle Wayne. He's a cartoonist too. So, I got stuff. Look, I got, I got a pen for my hat. I got pens to draw with. I got another eraser with a thing around it. I got a pencil. I got more pens. And I got a goodie bag. So, here's what I'm going to do. It says in the neat paperwork that comes with this stuff, talking about all the cool Sakura Pigma stuff, why don't you link to us on your website and have a blog mention and mention any events you might attend and mention us in PR and ads. So I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I've written a couple of weeks worth of Buckets cartoons, which I normally do in Pigma Micron pens. I'm going to draw them for you in just the stuff that they sent me for free. And I'm going to do it in time-lapse photography, so it's going to look like I'm working really, really fast. Ready? Here we go. Okay, so these are uh, pre-printed layout sheets that I do. Uh, the Sakura pencil is really nice. It's an 05 lead, and it's spring-loaded. It's very slim. I like the spring-loaded. Uh, I pencil the whole stack of cartoons before going on to any inks. And the, the blue rolling ruler there is a throwback to my high school drafting days. It's really, really handy. Uh, once I'm done penciling with everything, I use Hammer Mill 100 pound cover stock to ink on and do all the lettering with an 05 Pigma Micron. Um, when I'm done with that, the bubbles and balloons are all inked in with the next larger, it's an 08. Then I ink the borders with a Pigma Graphic 1. Uh, all the drawing is then done with a with an O3 that keeps all the elements separated with various line weights, and then uh, spot blacks. I go back with the Pigma Graphic One again. I learned all this light boxing technique from High Eisman, who uh, taught with Joe Kubert School and who ghosted for everyone back in the day of newspaper comic strips. If you've noticed that I don't use a ruler on the borders, that's because Scott Stannis, who started the buckets in 1990, wanted it to look like the artist was fending off a two-year-old while working, uh, and it does. If you're thinking uh, that all this can be done digitally, well, you're right, but it's just not the same. Plus, uh, this way I get a stack of original pencils that I can give away, and an equal stack of inked finished cartoons that my grandkids can throw out after I'm dead. Uh, when I'm using whiteout, uh, that's the cheap office supply stuff. Uh, I use Pro White when I'm doing something tricky or I'm on really nice Bristol paper. Uh, just remember, if you're writing or drawing on top of whiteout, use the next larger pin size or the line weights won't match. Uh, and if you think you've seen enough of these dailies now to identify them, you can go on to gocomics.com slash the buckets and see if you can find them in the archives. In fact, I dare ya. Sunday cartoons. Uh, there's a larger format than the dailies, and I do all the color myself, so a good Sunday cartoon has a broader concept or more dialogue than will fit in a daily, or maybe it relies on color in some way or some, some form. Uh, whatever the case, Sundays are traditionally the better cartoons or are supposed to be, uh, but that again, that's a throwback thing. Uh, if I've glossed over everything and you've decided you got questions, you can find me at gocomics.com slash the buckets in the comment section or on huberscomics.com. Ask me the questions, I'll answer them. Uh, so you're seeing two weeks worth of cartoons with Pigma freebies and 16 sheets of paper and more experience than anyone ever wants to have in cranking things out like this. So if you would, leave me some feedback or share this video around. Uh, tell everybody, hey, Pigma microns are cool. Thanks for the goodies. And my apologies if you thought this was going to be a drawing lesson. Thanks for watching. And thank you, Sakura Micron and John Lachaud.